good afternoon so um, today I thought I'd take a little trip out on my wheelchair um, it's January not a, not a nice afternoon but um, it's dry um, it's a little bit cold but um, perfect day to get out for a little bit of a whiz around on my uh, on my wheels so usually I do wear prosthetic legs but if I want to get out and do a nice walk I usually go on my wheelchair so today is um, we'll look at um, how easy or how difficult it is to get out on a wheelchair what the um, little difficulties are um, the bits that make it easy uh, and the point of this video is to encourage other people to get out and explore their local surroundings right let's get changed I'm gonna get my legs off and I'm gonna get onto my wheelchair So, I am trying to do a challenge at the moment on my Garmin watch where in the month of January I've got to walk, <laughs> or in my case, wheel 90, 90 miles, 91 miles, something like that. And this week wasn't great because my kids weren't well, so I'm a bit behind. So I'll come out today to try and get some distance in. We're going to see if we can do that now. So I've done this with my kids' this little route. Um, usually I park somewhere else, but uh, I knew that it'd be easy for me to get in and out of the car or the van on my own and just whip my prosthetic legs on and off. The car's safe, I'm not going to get muddy. So I just decided to come here. Oh, a bit bumpy. So. Let's get amongst this. Now, here I'm going to go on used to be, or parts of it, used to be an old railway track, a railway line. And uh, they all, they, they used to be a canal running next to it. So, it's quite a nice little area to go for a little bit of a wander and explore because even though you're only probably about a mile out of the city, or well, kind of really still in the city, I suppose. But um, it's kind of nice to get out and uh, be in some fresh air and see some green. And enjoy a nice walk. I think I need a dog. That's why I need a dog. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. See, look, you've got to be friendly. All right, this bit's a bit of a nightmare down here. So, um, it's part of an old an old road. Good afternoon. Hi, but getting down here on a wheelchair. It is a bit tricky, as you'll see. No, oh, more bumps. Right, and as you can see, this drop curb here isn't great. Into the mud. Oh. And then you've got to watch the traffic, and they come ra roaring around here because it's, it's single fast. They speed up. Mm -hmm. 
exercise kind of thing. You don't often get that, if I'm honest. But it was nice of him. Now, normally I'd like to park down here, but as you can see, it's absolutely rad. Not very accessible. Alright, let's get past all these people. isn't it? A bit quieter, a little bit less a little busy. Well, back there, um, there's a cafe. Good afternoon. Hiya. Yeah, there's a cafe that's been built on the top of what was the old railway track called the Handlebar Cafe. It's like a brilliant idea, really, really clever. Um, using a bit of old space and putting in the, um, that cafe they've also got uh, facilities to fix people with bikes up there as well, so it's, um, it's quite handy. Anything that encourages people to get outside and enjoy the fresh air has got to be a good idea. So this bit is perfect for um, getting out on your bikes, out with your dogs, or even in my case, out of my wheelchair. It's safe. It's not muddy. Afternoon, afternoon, afternoon. Come on, catch up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's um it's nice and flat, it's nice and smooth. It's good for getting out on my wheelchair. Because they're coming down there, what they usually do is um, further down there's a part where you can go up from Captain's Hill. And uh, they'll go for a wander up there. And um, I'll just go for a little scoot round just to get some steps in. Afternoon! So it kind of works for them and it works for me. I've gone other days, oh, I could go clambering up that hill, I used to love it, but not anymore. Lots of people out today. Afternoon. Hello. Lots of people out and they're all very friendly. Nice, isn't it? As we go down here, you'll see that there's um, a few bits and pieces they put in just to um, look back in, in time, really, I suppose. But it's uh, former life. And this is a little chair down here, which is in the shape of a, of, um, a canal boat. Because Along the river, there used to be lots of goods that come in, up and down it to supply Winchester and the surrounding areas. Afternoon. There you go, there's a seat. So sometimes, when I'm on a wheelchair, I do get the odd funny comments. 
don't, I don't know what somebody is supposed to be. Afternoon. Afternoon. Yeah, I get a real funny comment. Right, I get past these people. Um, all right, let's get it past these people. Yeah, so when I first got injured, um, I remember getting out of my car and uh, Yeah, this lady said something that's really odd to me. Afternoon. Hi. She, um, I missed what she said to begin with, and I asked her to repeat it, and, and she did, and I kind of like misheard her again. And so she said it a third time, and her exact words were, if God loved me, I'd go to walk. And I've never been so stunned in my life. Now, I'll be honest with you, there was something not right there. She wasn't, um... Afternoon. She wasn't altogether that well, I don't think. For whatever reason. But, uh... Yeah, it was an odd thing to be presented with. And then, the other week, I was going out of my wheelchair the other week. It was minding my business. And this lady said to me, oh... Look at you, Wesley. I'm like, oh, how, how am I supposed to respond to that? I, I don't know quite what to say. It was a bit, um, it was a bit of a weird thing to say to me, because why can't you just say hello, or how are you, or good morning, or good afternoon? It was a bit odd, if I'm honest. And you kind of just end up saying nothing really, or just saying hello and just going on your way really. But you do get a lot of that on a wheelchair unfortunately. Alright, let's get past. Beep, beep, beep. Ping, ping, ping. Dogs don't like wheelchairs either. Sorry, mate. That's right, that's right. Zooming past. <laughs> what are you eating? I, I don't know why, but dogs don't like them. Um, they don't like wheelchairs either. They have a bit of an issue with wheelchairs. They're not fans at all. I don't know what it is, I don't know if they think I'm another dog, but I'm not an odd looking dog, or, or what it is, but um, sometimes they get a bit nervous around the wheelchair. Afternoon. All right, I'm getting over another under. What was the old uh, railway bridge? A little bit of graffiti underneath it, and I'm a bit of a sucker for graffiti, I like a bit of graffiti. As long as it's not gang related. <laughs> like I'm gonna know. It's busy today. Nice to see. Nice man. It being used so regularly by so many people and by people of all ages. Afternoon. That dog was a little bit nervous, though, I think. He was like looking at me going, 
You better not want my stick, because I'm not giving him my stick. There's a couple of ways to go here, but I'm going to go right in a minute. Up then. Right. Sorry. No one knew where to go. <laughs> right, this is where another bridge used to be used to go over the top of this road here and actually this used to be a properly functioning road this was uh, closed many years ago I think many 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 years ago all right let's get through this close the gate all right usually what I do is go down here have a look at the water and then come back up again. So we'll have a look at this today. Nice down here. Alright, we'll do a little bit of recording down here. That looks so nice. Then. Yeah, this used to be um, a road, and as you can see, it's kind of getting reclaimed a little bit back by um, the grass. So it would have been two lanes, and it cut through the whole of this area here. I don't know why they closed it, but it was a bit of a rat run, I think. And I think they just wanted to tell, you know, stop all the traffic. When they made the changes to the M3, which was a lot of work many years ago. Afternoon. Alright, let's have a look around here. It's from here a lot, well, a little bit. Getting off this bridge, go for a little swoosh down the water. Alright, so I've just come from down there and I thought I'd show you a nice view of St Catherine's here. You've got Winchester, which is over in that direction, but St Catherine's Hill used to have a fort on it many, many, <laughs> many, many moons ago. And it would have been really interesting to see that fort in action or as in uh, what well, it looked like back in the day, but I'm sure it was uh, an incredible sight. All right, let's get back on. I'm going to have a look at this side of the river. 
And there's a viaduct down there at the bottom. It's a nice spot down here. A nice place to be and a nice place to go for a walk. Right, off we go. Let's get to amongst this. Oh, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go up onto the um, onto the viaduct now. It's quite nice up there. You get a lovely view of uh, the river and the fields around it. So it's quite nice just to kind of have a little scoot up there and. And again, that's where the railway track was. Went straight across it. It's been um, sort of, not renovated, but uh, it's been made usable for the public to use, so walkers and cyclists. And it's just a nice way to get out of the city and enjoy the countryside safely and it's very 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 good for wheelchair users as well so it's a win-win Of them. Of them. If I'd have been a bit quicker, I could open the gate for her, couldn't I? But I wasn't. I'll close it. It's fine. You get through. Okay. Cheers. Thanks a lot. That was nice, wasn't it? Right, we go right up here. It's a bit steep. I think it's always important to go up first and then down because then at least you're in the down. Slow. Yeah, you're not wrong there. This is a good workout for the arms, this is. Alright, here we go. Let's get up here. Yeah, there's a lovely view up here. Not so nice with all the cars on the motorway. But when you're down a little bit further on, you can't hear the cars. Well, not so much anyway. Afternoon, because of the quite high bricks, brick wall down here. So, yeah. 
it kind of dampens out the sound anyway it does for me Hockley Viaduct this path is not a dedicated highway but available for public use I think it's in some way that it's the idea that this is shared it's not just for cyclists or walkers it's it's got to be shared and people have got to be considerate among, about how they're using it yeah you can still hear the traffic Ah, oh, what a view what a pretty view you probably can't see this You can see quite a long way up here. It's a bit sort of sad that they've got only one sort of viewing platform here, is it? For for people that are a little bit shorter to see from. But uh, you know, from a safety aspect, with little kids looking over the top of it, you've got to be careful. It'd be awful if someone fell in or fell off. There's another little viewing bit here. Now, I was thinking about this the other day. I don't know if they've changed this or if it was always like this. Because it just seems odd that there'd be two different levels. But I think it's got to be for... I think it's got to be retrospectively put in so people can see the views. And obviously not on the other side, because who would want to look at the M3? <laughs> Just to think that there was steam trains at one point going over here. Or along here. And I like the fact that they kind of left the little clues to its former life with the, uh, the signal the signal box down the bottom there you can hear the traffic in the background which is quite loud there's the cousin in the background to the left that group, that second group, big group of trees incredible view Obviously a lot nicer when it's a bit sunnier and that is in the background you can see the cars coming through from the M3. Right, you can probably still hear the cars in the background. Let's have a look at this. The original LS LSWR signal base is dedicated to the troops who crossed this viaduct to and from the vast military camp at Abingdon, home to UK, Australian, Bermudan, Canadian, sorry, Canadian, Canadian, Indian, Newfoundlander, Nova Scotian, Russian, Serbian, and US troops between 1914 and 1918. Donated by the Friends of Hockley Viaduct in 2014. Wow, that's, that's incredible, isn't it? To think that all those troops crossed this viaduct. And it's nice kind of remembering their sacrifice. This is nice, isn't it? A cycling here as Lane and South Wales of Hampshire produced one of the which, which is sporting heroes, Dickie Frost, born in 1866. Frost was one of the most successful cyclists of the time, the Bridley Wiggins of his day. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? I didn't even know that Winchester had a cyclist of notable repute I have to point that out to my kids next time I come up because I haven't seen that before Dickie Frost, I have to google him when I get in have a look at 
do a bit of research on who he was. No, I don't want to hear that. Facts about Hockley Viaduct. The viaduct has 33 arches and spans 614 metres. It would take the sprinter Usain Bolt one minute to dash across. Hockley Viaduct was constructed for London and South Western Railways. Each viaduct pier weighs 650 tonnes. Wow, we used to stand on St Catherine's Hill. You could hear the steam trains coming from miles away. There we go, Chris Webb, a man who loved this viaduct playing a major part in its religious restoration. That's a nice thing to put there, isn't it? It's good to be passionate about something, isn't it? Particularly if it serves the community. Alright, let's have a one little look across the river, which is the River Itchin. There we go. Sometimes if you're really lucky, you can see a heron down here, or if you're even luckier, you can see the flash of a kingfisher, the blue flash of a kingfisher. I've been lucky enough to see two down here. All but, all be, all be the, uh, the flash of him whizzing past, but, um, it's not often you get to see a, a kingfish, is it? Alright, this sign here says This shared use path, please be courteous to other path users, cyclists, use your bell and give way to pedestrians. Pedestrians don't take up the whole path width. Wise words. All right, I've earned a little scoot down the bottom here, which I am going to take. With both hands. What shall I do? I'm not sure what to do now. Do I go and get a sneaky little coffee from the Handlebar Cafe? if it's still open. It might still be open. They might run out of coffee from all the cyclists and the walkers. Let's go and have a quick look. All right. Let's try not to fall off. Here we go. Slow, yeah, right. There we go. That was fun, wasn't it? That was a bit of fun. Alright, let's get on with this. Stay out of their way. Go on, let's have a look. Hmm. So I've done just over three kilometres. Are you racing, me? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? <laughs> is this like the Tour de, it's the Tour de France? It is, isn't it? Look at it. your bike, Mum? I know. Well. At least you get to go for a run. I've got no legs. Yes, no legs! No? Oh, yes. I have got it in the car though, I've got two legs in the car. <laughs> I've got blown up. 
Yeah. An army hat, exactly. Like Which one are you, are you Rex, are you? Because yeah. you, your mum just said it. Because <laughs> your mum just said your name. I still have to You have? You want to look after them? I yeah. Well, I think well, maybe I said Rex and then he heard <laughs> and then guessed. Yeah, guessed. I put two and two together. <laughs> right, so you're going to go up again? Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Oh, which way are we going? I've always got to get away out of other people's way. Which always baffles me a little bit. Sometimes I lay off. Because I can't be bothered with the awkwardness of it all. Afternoon. <laughs> Afternoon. Let's get out of the way of these savage dogs. Savage. <laughs> <They're scary. laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna keep it slow along here a little bit just to let this family move off. Sometimes people don't know quite what to say to you. Which is fine. You probably didn't hear that, but uh, that child just said, What happened to his legs? He's got no legs. You get a lot of that, but you kind of expect that from children. They're inquisitive, they want to know stuff. It's just that obviously it easily cause a problem. On. Super busy. Yeah, I saw his still on the There's some Catherine's Hill. She's all right. <laughs> that are you? You know what the dogs are after. They're after them. They're after bones, aren't you? I always say to the dogs, they're really bones. No bones here. No bones here. I miss running. I miss that a lot. Nothing, nothing much more fun than getting out 
I'm going for a run. Nice to see people going out and enjoying some fresh air. Couple of swans down there. Making a racket. Oh, that's why. There's some rowers. I've never seen rowers down there. Now that does look fun. I want to go. Surprising how much power that had. Incredible. Never seen rowers down. I knew there's a club down there, but I've never seen them in the water. Just make it easy for a mum. There's a hierarchy of you should go first. <coughs> Quite warm. It's not cold at all today. Sometimes, if you're really lucky, you can see the odd deer down here. And they're just usually walking around the place. I think they feel quite safe across the side of the stream and the river. Let's go and see if the cafe is still open. It's a bit steep getting up there, but if you get a coffee out of it, it's well worth it. Hmm, 
reckon might be a little bit too busy. We'll have a look. Let's have a look. Have a look. <clears throat> I'm taking my life in my hands here. shoot along this bit here I know that there's a set of stairs at the end but it's nice to get a little bit of difference in a little bit of extra a few hundred metres extra in. Oh look, there's more rowers down there. Unless they've come back already. Oh, this is owned by the college. Ah. You can't see it, but the Winchester College has got his own crazy game. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I don't know the rules. But they set up their pitch every year. Uh, as I understand it, each house sort of competes against. Now I'm just gonna I'm having a look at I'm having a look at down here. Let's have a look. Can't really see. Let's have a look if I can see from here. Oh, it's got its own rules. I'm not sure how you play it. But they put the um, they lay out their pitch, and about this time of the year, and it's something they always play. As I understand, it, it's played between sort of houses, but I know very little about it. And, what well, I'm saying most of most of mostly guesswork. But I'd love to know more about it. It looks a lot of fun. I wanna play. I don't know if I can be bothered getting a coffee. Sometimes these things are just a little bit more hassle than they're worth. That car park is still really full. All right, let's get back down this hill. Yeah, it's a bit busy in there. Sometimes it's more hassle than it's worth. Um, but away. Oh, sorry. Are you right? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you're, you're, you're fine. Hello. Hello. Right, let's try and get through this car park. Which might be harder. And this will be Thor.
see this should be cleared really some of it should anyway right there's probably a car coming behind me let's have a look no all right See, this needs to be cleared here. <laughs> I'm not speaking, because <laughs> I'm working too hard. That'll be a bit easier in a minute. There we go. <sighs> That's better. That's much better. That's been a nice little walk. Hello. Hello. Very nice. It's not cold. No, it's not that anyway. I'm warmed up. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to the van. Get my legs on. I just remembered I made a, a tea for myself before before I left the house. I'm gonna sit and drink that. And then I'm gonna get back home. Hello. Nice little walk. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the van. Now I have thought about coming from my home and we and and using my wheelchair to get into Winchester. I mean it's a bit of a distance but that's what these challenges are all about. Alright so I'm taking pictures of cars let's go and see if if I'm in trouble or not. Well I'm back home now uh, at a lovely little dash about on my uh, on my wheelchair just goes to show um, given the right sort of equipment and motivation you can get out and, and have a, a bit of a laugh I don't think I've got a ticket didn't manage to speak to the guy that was dishing them out but um, hopefully I should be all right well I hope you've enjoyed the video um, if you'd like to see any more videos like this then please drop me a line and let me know I hope you have a good one and I'll speak to you soon